Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. Organizing Hire, providing productivity and organization tips and tools for you to get better control over your life and work. I share organization and productivity videos. If this is something that's interesting to you, make sure you subscribe, that way you don't miss out on future videos. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the never ending drama that exists around email. Email is always a tool that's just so elusive to people and email management can be so important. So we're gonna talk today about another useful tip tip for you and resource. And specifically, we're going to talk about some tools that you can use from Outlook to help automate your email process. So I don't know about you, but working in higher education very seasonally, sometimes we get a lot of the same emails and I find myself giving the exact same responses or typing similar emails. I don't mean in a mail merge kind of situation. I mean like a hey, see you on Tuesday at three. Hey, see you on Friday at four. Hey, just confirming our meeting or here's how you can get to my office. So instead of typing all of those responses repeatedly over and over again, uh, there's a way to automate that, to have it happen automatically. That's gonna save you so much time over the course of a day, that might save you a couple of minutes. Over the course of a week, that might save you an hour or more. Over the course of a month, it saves you even more time. So being able to automate information that you're sending in the email is gonna be a really great time saver. This is especially true around the beginning of the fall semester when you're sending emails to schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings or to confirm presentations or to ask people to schedule appointments with you. So finding ways to automatically send these emails without having to manually type them repeatedly really saves you a lot of time. So sometimes when people hear automation, particularly as it relates to email, they think super complex or super, compli compli or super complicated. You need to know a lot of code or you need to be a, des a web designer um, and none of that is true of course so if you've ever uh, sent or set up an out of office reply that is automation that is an automatic response that is sent every time someone sends you an email uh, based on the parameters you've put for that out of office so you've already done automation in email and you didn't even know it no coding required so there's a couple of different tools that you can use in Outlook to help with the automation process. And we're going to talk about just a few today. So the very first one is Quick Steps. Quick Steps in Outlook is a super awesome and powerful tool that allows you to customize things that you want done based on whatever you set up in the Quick Step. So you can set up a quick step that has all of the text of that email message already ready to go just with the click of a button. You can have it automatically create calendar entries using the text of that message. That's one I actually use a lot. So sometimes I'll get meeting requests and the information for the meeting is in an email that I had sent, been sent previously. And so sometimes to give myself context for that meeting that's not on my calendar, I'll take the details of that initial email and, and create that and turn it into a calendar entry. So then I have things like the meeting notes or the agenda. So if you haven't already seen it, I talk about in my email workflow video, how I manage my email email and I move my emails into certain folders and I do that more quickly using quick steps. So instead of having to drag something to a particular folder, I've just created quick steps that are associated with each of those folders. And so if I want something to move to my action folder, I just hit that quick step or I could use the shortcut key if I want to and it moves automatically to that folder. It saves me seconds, saves me minutes, saves me hours. So you can stack actions too. So you can have something be marked as unread and then flag it for review and then have it move to a folder. So quick steps can be a really great way to cut down on the number of individual clicks that you have to take on any particular email to help you get those things done quickly and more efficiently. Another simple tool is delay send. This one's a neat one if you're ever finding yourself wanting to send an email, but you don't wanna send it right then. You really wanna send it later, but you don't wanna forget. So just use delay send, and this will automatically send at a time that you've decided. So maybe you wanna leave your job Jerry Maguire style, and you wanna send your goodbye email on Friday at exactly 5 p.m. because you don't want anyone to respond back to you, or you don't wanna get any of those responses. So you could, you don't have to wait until 5 to 
to do that. You can set up your email, change it so that the delay send makes it send out at 5 p.m. or at time of your choosing, and then you're ready to go. And automatically, assuming that you have Outlook open, uh, it will send out that email. That's important to note. Outlook does need to be open in order for delay send to actually send out that email. But seriously, you could use this for something like opening signups for nominations and you want to make sure that it's a, an even playing field. So the nomination signups are going to be open and you send the email at midnight. So you can set it up for the delay send to not send your email until midnight. And using an internal tool like Quick Parts can really help to alleviate the amount of time that you have to spend typing individual emails repeatedly over and over again. The great thing about Quick Parts is you can create them yourselves pretty easily. All you would need is just to use a sample of the text that you want it to send and you would add that to your Quick Parts gallery. You can include pictures, you can include links. So that's really great if you're doing something like giving people directions to your office or telling them which parking lot to park in, that way they can get to where you are. If you need people to sign up for a meeting with you, you can automatically include a link to something like Calendly or Acuity Calendar, depending on what you're using. That way folks can schedule with you automatically. You can use Quick Parts with a shortcut, either just by starting to type the name of that Quick Part or you can manually click to insert the quick part into any part of the email that you want. I use quick parts for things like sending out meeting agenda requests and confirming meetings. So if I have a meeting that's coming up on my calendar, especially with students, sometimes they forget, maybe a day before or a couple days before, depending on the meeting, I'll just send a reminder, hey, I'm just writing to confirm our meeting at date, at time in this location. So that's something that really quickly helps me to make sure that number one, I'm not wasting time with someone not showing up for a meeting. And number two, I don't have to retype out that whole email message every single time I want to confirm a meeting with someone. Using rules is another really powerful tool and a way to automate a lot of the stuff that you're gonna wanna do in Outlook. I use rules a lot, particularly as a filter to make sure that I'm not having all those emails that I get land in my inbox. So for example, I'll have some emails that are just newsletters or listservs. Those are automatically filtered to my read review folder. Again, I talk about that in my email management video if you haven't seen that already and I'll leave a link here so that way you can see that. So rules allow you to basically tell Outlook what to do anytime it gets a particular message. So maybe you have a super super demanding boss that requires that you respond to them within 30 minutes of them sending the email, but you need to step away to like eat lunch or live life, right? You can actually set up a rule where any messages from your boss that will maybe be the only message that you'll actually get an audible notification for, or you'll see something pop up on your screen. So in my other video about email management, I encourage you to turn your notifications off for your email but if you do want a one-off, if you want one of those instances where if it comes from a specific person, I want those notifications to come through, you can set that up with a rule pretty easily. Rules are incredibly customizable and incredibly powerful. So play around with those and you can create to customize whatever you need for your particular needs. And finally, you can use a third-party tool like Text Expander, which will automatically expand what are called snippets based on what you've predetermined. So if I automatically need to have a dynamic form where I can say who's going to be doing a presentation at what time on what day I can create a custom snippet in text expander that allows me to do that really easily this saves me so much time on the back end some of the information can be pre-populated so you can pre-populate a day of the week or a location or even a person's name so this particular person will be your presenter they'll be coming in on Tuesday and they'll be coming in to present this specific topic. So it's really great, a really good time saver and tool if you're finding yourself repeatedly sending out those kinds of emails. The great thing about Text Expander is this works in any program that you're using, not just Outlook. So this could apply to Microsoft Word, you could have this apply to a website, anything that you're using, which is really awesome. So definitely look into those tools. Uh, text expander I used for years and it's really great and super useful.
Text Expander does have a cost associated with it, and I'll link below in the description more information about how you can find out about that tool. And try it out because it comes with a free trial, which is awesome. So when it comes to sending emails, which is something we all do, try to find ways to save time where you can. So seconds, add up to minutes, add up to hours. Using things like rules and quick parts and text expander can really save you a lot of time and hassle and help your email management game be a lot stronger. If you found this information useful, please go ahead and hit the like button. It's super helpful for me and it helps YouTube to get this information out to other people that might find it useful for them as well. What are some other ways that you found help you with automating emails? There's lots of other text expander type tools that are out there as well. What are some ones that you've used and found helpful? Share below in the comments, that way we can add to our pull belt. And as always, thank you for watching.